Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Just want to give a quick tip on how to catch flounder with artificial lures. Flounder, of course, they're bottom predators. They are really designed to ambush prey from the bottom. So we need to get something that is really gets down to the bottom in their strike zone. So highly, highly recommend using a, a jig of some sort. And uh, this one in particular is my favorite. This is a, a paddle tail jig. Uh, highly recommend, uh, regardless of brand, highly, highly recommend getting one of the, the jigs, uh, the soft plastic tails with the little paddle tail feature on the end. It's much better than the, than the split, like the fork tail. These paddle tails give a little bit added, uh, added motion and vibration, and these significantly increase the strikes I get with flounder. Uh, this one in particular is made by DOA, and, uh, and this jig head is a, is a 1 8 ounce jig head. Highly recommend those for fishing the shallower water, anywhere from about a foot and a half to maybe three to four feet deep. If you go any deeper, say the, the four to seven foot range, then I'll maybe uh, go up to a, a one fourth ounce jig. And if I'm, in, if I'm in an area with a lot of current, then I'll, I'll go up as well. I'll go up an additional level because with that current, that'll of course put drag on the line and you need that added weight to, to get it on the bottom. So, uh, so that's, the, uh, that's the actual jig. As far as the leader assembly, um, nothing really fancy here. I, I prefer fluorocarbon. And, uh, and in most areas, I'll just use 25, maybe 25 pounds of fluorocarbon on 10 pound uh, braided line. And I just get about, uh, I right now have about a, maybe two feet. So one and a half to two feet of line is fine. Um, the knot, I prefer the FG knot. Absolutely love this thing. It is super strong and uh, really thin. All right, so next I'll show you how to actually work this jig. And, uh, and at the end, I'll give you an added tip on how to really increase your strikes. All right, so now I'll show you how to retrieve this jig so you get the most strikes from flounder. And uh, first up, obviously, is to, uh, to cast it out. So let that thing get out. And uh, again, these flounder are always on the bottom. So, so let, this, let the jig float or go all the way down to the bottom, let it sink. And uh, usually just do a count of uh, maybe a second per foot deep that it is. And uh, so once it's down there, then just slowly uh, do these little twitches. And I, I do a double twitch style where I go from maybe 11 or 10 o'clock to about 11. Again, just real short but it's short, small twitches. Oh, I just had a hit actually. But uh, do, do those short little small twitches and, uh, and let the bait go all the way back down to the bottom and then uh, and just continue to do that. Because what these flounder usually do is they'll first see it and they'll just slowly start inching towards it. And uh, the slower you go and the more times you hit the bottom, the uh, higher your odds of, uh, of catching one will be. And, uh, and at the very end, a lot of times these flounder will just follow the lure all the way up to your boat almost. So when you get it right before you reel it all the way up, I have to, there's a bunch of rocks down here, so I have to, I can't really do this. But, uh, but normally if it's about 10 feet out, I will, I will do a, a twitch, let it, let it sit, and actually let it sit on the bottom for maybe like a second or two, and then do a final twitch. Usually after it sits for a little bit, get, they get right next to it, and that final twitch will, will, incre will get the strike. So uh, if you are targeting flounder, I really recommend just slowing it down right at the very last second. But, uh, but otherwise, as far as the, the actual retrieve, the same thing. You know, it's cast, cast out, let it drop all the way to the bottom. And then once it's there, just do these little, little, small, these little small twitches. And, uh, and if there's a lot of structure, if there's a lot of rocks down there, you, of course, need to speed it up a little bit so that you don't uh, get snagged. But, uh, but in most situations, you'll be fishing uh, more of a, a sandy type bottom for these flounder. And, uh, and you can go as really slow as you want. Uh, that's it. Just a quick little tip. If you have any questions about the gear used or anything like that on how to rig it, let us know. You can leave a comment down below. Uh, we really appreciate you watching this video. See you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line today Nothing better on a Saturday night than an ice cold beer and a, a fish fry. And talking about them big ones that got away.